I really don't know what happened this morning inside of Helldivers as I was there and helping the cause for democracy versus the automatons, and we had something like 22 hours to go, Truce was sitting at 99% liberated, and then everything just poof, reset, and we were thrown into phase two of this operation, leaving most of us wondering what in the hell had just happened. Welcome back to the channel, it's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, and I've got all the new details for you because we are now into phase two of this automaton assault, and let's just say it felt very rushed there at the end, which I'll explain in a bit. Thanks again for your awesome and continued levels of support. Remember to hit subscribe and ring that notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts, and let's check out the latest from Game Master Joel and Helldivers. All right, first things first, I'm going to be jumping around quite a bit today. So chapters are up and in place in case you want to skip around and or repeat sections of this video. Use them, don't use them, it's entirely up to you. So the TLDR version here is that we were sitting at just under 24 hours to go in the liberation of Troost. I had dove into a mission this morning where we were just over 99% complete liberating that planet. And from there, I honestly don't know what in the hell happened. We finished up our mission and normally you see the liberation meter then go up to max at 100%. But this time it didn't happen. I received my 15 medals for completing the daily, which is to drop devastators, but nothing showed up for Troost and or that campaign because, you know, normally even when we fully take a sector, the timer will continue to roll down until it reaches zero. But again, nothing like that happened for today. Because we somehow just got cut out of all the remainder of that major order timer and I guess Game Master Joel decided to immediately just kick up phase two for this one. Let me know if all this went down really janky for you this morning because it was all out of sorts. At least it looked that way to me. Anyways, surprise, phase two of our Automaton Major Order is now live. And this one is a three-day campaign in the Severin Sector, which, by the way, is the only territory still controlled by the Automatons. What's really important here is that you read all the dispatches for context, starting off with the basics of this new Major Order. We have identified the most significant source of automaton combatant production. Liberation of this planet will severely impact the enemy's force replenishment capacity. Which in itself sounds pretty standard, right? I mean, even harmless. We are to liberate Tibet, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, for 45 medals. But we can't get to that planet yet, as we need to first liberate Ubania, which at this present time is sitting at around 25% liberated. So for right now, it looks like we've got the automatons on the brink of just being wiped clear off the galaxy map. Or do we? Because the dispatches give us a better understanding of what's really been going on. Here's what it says about phase one, the major order we just completed this morning. The automaton comms array on Troost has been decommissioned, which is a fancy way of saying we came, we saw, we blew shit up. Now, strangely, it appears to have been broadcasting outside the galactic frontier. Analysts are working to determine more. However, we did discover a transmission containing blueprints for a new automaton type aerial gunships. With this advance warning, our hardworking factory laborers have been instructed to accelerate production of our most effective anti-air weaponry. Okay, mind blown here because from that dispatch alone, we see that number one, the automatons have been sending out signals to the beyond, wherever that is, possibly or maybe calling for help because we've almost eradicated them completely off the map. And right here, my mind is screaming, here come the Illuminate or possibly a new race we haven't seen yet or even maybe a massive hidden horde of automaton reinforcements. Now, number two is... This new automaton aerial gunship we're going to have to deal with. Are we talking converted dropships with tons of firepower instead of bots to drop? Who knows? And number three is this mention of anti-air weaponry, which, you know, could just be the Quasar Cannon. Probably shouldn't have mentioned that one at all. And hopefully nobody from Arrowhead sees this video. This weapon is totally balanced, but in all seriousness, 
Are we talking a new sentry turret that acts like a mobile SAM or surface-to-air missile sentry where we can just set that thing up and it would target these gunships? I mean, I've got questions, millions of them, and apparently the answers are all lying in wait on Tibet. As if all of this wasn't enough, we've also got a final dispatch Joel has uncorked on the Helldivers player base labeled Operation Swift Disassembly. So this is phase two of this automaton assault. Reduce non-sentient combat production. Intel analysts have identified the planet Tibet as the most significant producer of illegal automaton combatants. I wonder if illegal is a new form of bot or is it referring to those modified gunships? I mean, I honestly don't know. Liberating this planet would significantly impact the enemy's capacity to replenish decommissioned socialist. It would also limit further theft of the planet's natural resources from future generations of inarguably sentient humans. Again, Lots going on here, calling the automatons socialist, illegal combatants, and then the mention of sentient humans, excuse me, and arguably sentient humans. Kind of odd wording there, right? And I wonder if there's more here that meets the eye. So we've got a ton of food for thought on this new campaign, but for now, remember when I said that everything felt kind of janky this morning with the game? How the clock had 22 hours to go and then it just ended and we were immediately thrown into phase two in the liberation of Tibet? Well, here's a bit more on that one. Receiving our major order medal rewards is always a little bit suspect. Sometimes it happens as soon as the campaign ends, and other days it just goes down the way it did this morning because I was well into several long missions on this phase two campaign before I ever saw the rewards for last campaign. I'm talking several hours later because we had just finished another 40 minute mission and the 50 medals popped up and we had just made it back to orbit. Like I said, getting those medals for completion is always a bit delayed, but with the timer reset, this new campaign, and then this delayed reward, like I said, it all felt really last minute, or at least to me. Let me know if you saw the same. Have you received your 50 medals for the previous major order for completing the Truest Liberation? Next up, and this is going to go by pretty quickly, is the new Superstore Reset, which is set to last for the next two and a half days or so. Starting off with the CE67 Titan Hybrid Light Medium Armor with the Engineering Kit Passive for reduced recoil and plus two grenades. We've also got the CM17 Butcher Helmet, the CE67 Titan Helmet, and then finishing up with the CM17 Butcher Heavy Body Armor with the Med Kit Passive Talent for plus two stems and don't sleep on that two seconds additional stem effect duration and finally a little bit of a discussion topic maybe for next video and it is certainly a follow-up report to yesterday's video breaking down the two new stratagems and this one has earned 4200 upvotes on reddit it says the heavy machine gun is kind of really underwhelming and I wanted to show this one a bit of love because after yesterday's video where I basically said the same thing about the HMG, I got called out by some of the comments. I didn't know what I was doing with this weapon, I was using the wrong loadout, etc, etc. And after further testing with it this morning, my thoughts have not changed on this weapon. Now I've adapted to what it can and can't do and I started running around with heavy body armor and the resupply backpack. I don't know. Maybe it's me, maybe it's the weapon, but I really can't seem to connect with this one. Anyways, I'm going to keep testing it out at different ranges, loadouts, and the such. And in the meantime, let me know what you think overall of the heavy machine gun. And maybe give me any ideas for the best loadouts and or tips for how best to use it. I mean, that would be really appreciated. Anyways, I think this is a great place to press pause for today. Remember to hit subscribe and ring the notifications bell to receive my Helldivers upload alerts. All my social links can be found in the video description, including an open invite link to my fast-growing Helldivers Discord community, including LFG areas and free voice channels. A huge thanks to the now over 212,000 of you that have taken the plunge and hit subscribe. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.